but I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a spirit of bad luck. Yes. Huh? That people just, people hate you, yes. people reject you, yes. people fight you, yes. and they give meaning to you, something that is not yes. true. And there are many people who have that kind of thing. Anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of Jesus, that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that fail now. I tear off that fail now. What's that restore song? Sing it for me. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore. there is a man i will not advise that you come out but i'm seeing the number 59 million you lost 59 million i don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is but that's why i raised that song for you because the lord is saying he wants to restore you and I'm, I'm using that man as a point of contact anyone who has lost anyone naira I don't care for no matter how long by the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic then I'm speaking to you between now and the next three months in the name of Jesus the son of the living God let there be supernatural restoration let there be supernatural restoration you will be surprised to see what God will do don't doubt I declare restoration first for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition may my God restore you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you can return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing return to your seats rejoicing in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm. As you are standing here, connect your family to yourself by faith. So that what is happening to you, you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them. It is as for me and my house. Me and my house. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easternans be delivered, Westernans be delivered, Middle Beltans be delivered, Northernans be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil 
around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you may the hand of god rest upon you the lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of god is coming upon such people i'm seeing the number 11 in the name of jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now hallelujah gift who is gift i just had the name gift g-i-f-t gift your name is gift gift there is a door that is closed and i'm seeing a hand trying to open that door and the lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what i'm hearing father honor your word right now i stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of jesus may the god of all grace swing those doors open now hallelujah there are three people in the crowd the congregation the lord is telling me that i should pray for you you are the brain behind many things but every time it's time to be rewarded you are exchanged there is a spirit that always makes that the the honor that should come to you for your sacrifice you are never truly seen in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number three i don't know who that person is whatever makes a replacement whenever honor comes it's like you are being replaced and the wrong people are lifted inside of you in jesus name someone is by the pillar i'm seeing an anointing by the pillar there is someone you are one of them the hand of god is upon you may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now that puts you in your rightful place in life and destiny in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i'm seeing in a vision the name un and the lord is saying someone is going to get a job un united nations now you will come and testify here i prophesy it in the name of jesus god who revealed it may he put it in your hands i say it again god who revealed it i'm seeing un the logo of un united nations may god no matter where you are may god use people to connect you to it in the name of jesus my dear look at me this lady release this family now in the name of jesus i decree and declare for those of you who are in front here you are delivered now please those who are up make sure they don't fall down so if they are under the anointing just guide them in the name of jesus you are delivered now you are delivered forever in jesus name 13 years no promotion one three 13 years you've not been promoted the lord is showing me an individual in a vision for 13 years you've not been promoted and the lord is saying i should speak to you i want to speak to you by the spirit listen when you hear prophetic words come like this don't downplay them a lot happens in the realm of the spirit when a word is released 
are we together now there are angels that excel in strength and their assignment is to sit with that's why you see people come to testify and they will tell you this one happened this one happened don't be an unbeliever 13 years you have not been promoted i want to pray for you father look upon whoever this person is is this a lady this is not the person i'm seeing but i will still pray for you in the name of jesus 13 years no promotion father honor your word for this individual using this one in front as a point of contact i decree and declare that not only will you be promoted may god restore you may god restore you may god restore you in the name of jesus christ may god restore you I'm hearing the name tuberculosis in the name of Jesus one of your loved ones has tuberculosis and the Lord is telling me he wants to heal that person tuberculosis I'm even seeing that the person coughs out blood sometimes and you know chunks of blood comes out I'm hearing tuberculosis in the name of Jesus anyone here on ground or scattered across suffering from tuberculosis I declare be healed now now all those who are connecting from any hospital or those here trusting God for healing lay your hands now very quickly where you are trusting God for a miracle I have taught you that faith demands the power of God demands that you engage if it's your eyes lay your hands there expecting to be healed if it's your ears lay your hands there if it's your neck if it's a part of your body that is sensitive just lay your hand on your chest as a point of contact by the way you can stand for someone you don't have to be the one who is sick you can stand in for someone releasing your faith i want to pray here's what will happen as soon as i pray and make declarations already there are many people that the power of god has touched I will pray for you doesn't matter what the situation is I don't have to call it I want you to believe by faith check yourself the moment you see that a miracle has happened very quickly I want you to leave your seat and come to the front either by my left or my right I want to seal your miracle as we take a few testimonies and then I will share with you something and then begin to pray over um, the various issues in your life that are not related to sickness but I want to pray for the sick now please lay your hands believe I sing praises to your name oh God praises to your name oh God for your name is great and greatly to be praised there is a man immediately I'm seeing your case um, what you have is a situation of infertility that is peculiar to men you have had this for a long time in the name of Jesus the Lord is healing you now the Lord is bringing restoration now now I decree and declare anyone who is sick here in your body in this auditorium all the overflows those connecting stretch your hands in the name of Jesus for those who are outside of this auditorium you can stretch your hands by faith I decree and I declare now let the healing power of Jesus coming like rain coming like fire let it rest upon the various parts of your body and I declare instant miracles now instant miracles now blind eyes be open now hearing problems deaf ears be open now any part of your body you could not move in Jesus name I command it to begin to move there's someone you came here with severe breathing problems in the name of Jesus as I pray begin to breathe you find out that there's freedom there's liberty you are able to breathe normally peptic ulcer be healed now hallelujah Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 I call it the Esther anointing there is the grace for favor can be imparted mm. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 something is coming on someone right now 
now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai who had taken her for his daughter listen carefully was come in unto the king she required nothing but what Haggai the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her next verse the Bible says so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the tenth month which is the month Tebeth in the seventh year of his reign and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when you read the verses before 15 the Bible says there were many women and yet Esther went to this strange man called Haggai he had worked with the king a long time he knows what the king is looking for and she asked him what does the king really want and Haggai said there is an oil I will give you just keep rubbing on your body for one year that's all forget all this how to work the Holy Spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper. He knows what he wants. Hear me, my brothers and my sisters. Truly, there is an anointing for favor. There is a grace called favor. The assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy I decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor I place this mantle upon your life take this grace now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the morning experience favor in the afternoon experience favor in the night experience favor in Nigeria experience favor in America experience favor in Europe experience favor every door that needs favor for to be open I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now Every door that dishonor has shut, that was once open, and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David, we reopen that door now. And in the name of Jesus, many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of Jesus by the paparakatos katapakate parukoto basiata and teleke paruska debashka baruze siata in the name of Jesus Christ I give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus 
hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships i declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are i stand by the prophetic i call them into your life now hear me i stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing i declare in the name of jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the lord let god's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now in the name of jesus christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that i am anointed walk in this consciousness that i am god's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that i have received something that i must put to work and as you do that you will see the god of wonder surprise you in the name of jesus christ pray with your gaze upon jesus we bless you someone build up yourself even on your most holy faith as you pray in the holy ghost shate gete paratos embra katosh kate lakata prate gete balakosia shate parato kasa prate gete balakatosia someone build up yourself someone is praying Shegete patakatos kata pranda gete belegetos. Embra kata parus kadila katosha pranda gete balatosia. That will be built and established. Built and established in knowledge. Built and established in power. Built and established in wisdom. Shate pragete balakata protokoto palada. My spirit man is open open to receive open to be blessed open to be changed open to be healed open to be delivered it's part of the service go ahead and pray if you can hold the hands of someone by your left and right Shake the brandos, the zige the belleke the parada kosi. Shata branda gata prati ge the balaka tosh kate branda ge the ge the balados. Shabrata gata parata gata branda ge the belleke the kosh shada balada bar. Shende branda ge parados ki ata balaka tosh. 
they are ascending dimensions in the spirit higher levels of wisdom higher levels of fire Shapranta kaparaga toshko to pronto koto prete gete balakatos. Shege de brandos kezi gete belekete parada kosi. Shata pranta kata prati gete balakatos kate prete gete gete balados. Shaprata kata parata kata prete gete belekete kushada balada bal. Shende prante ke parados ki ata balakatos. They are ascending dimensions in the spirit. Higher levels of wisdom, higher levels of fire. Shapranta kaparaga tosh koto pronto koto prete gete balakatos. Shete perete gete balakatos kate prete gete balados. Skati pranto skati lakata pros kati ratos kati brandi gete balados ya. Embra kata parata kata prete gete balakata paratos koto prete gete blat. And Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. Men can increase, men can increase. You can increase in wisdom, you can increase in power, you can increase in grace. Shina makata branda galatos kati lakatosi bregeti balatas. The hearing ear, the seeing eye, the discerning heart I receive tonight. Shabranda gata prati ke palakatos koto brando koto baratos ya. Few more minutes. Shikreti ke baratos kati lakata branda gata balatos ya. He pantu shata pras kete balaka tush kati prende kete balata shakra te kete balaka te prende kete baratus kosi prende kete. Take your eyes away from any distraction. Look to Jesus. Shani prende kete balaka ta prende kete balaka tush. Shkate prata katusa singe te prende kete balaka tusa ti pras. Imbra katosh kala grande gete paratos kasi de gete bele gete pas. She prantos kotu pras gete balaka ta pranti gete paratos kotu prete gete bele gete. She prakatos kati pranda gata kos kati balaka tosh kati krete mene kete. Shata pranda gata prati gete balaka tosh kati prete gete gete balados. She de prante gete paratos ki ata balaka tos. Hear me. At the start of this year, God gave us a prophetic word that this is the year of open doors. And I did teach you that there are three biblical ways we open doors. Number one is through the use of the right key. You remember that? That when you apply the right key, you can turn a door open. Number two, by knocking. You can knock a door and the person at the other side of the door can open for you. But number three, that doors can be opened by the use of force. You can use force and this one does not just open, it breaks the door. Because when you open a door after you, it can close and your children may not be able to pass. When that door is broken, everybody after you can pass. Did the Bible not say at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says the prisoners heard them. It says suddenly there was an earthquake. This was not a key. This was not knocking. There was an earthquake quick he shook the doors and all doors open someone open your mouth and declare all doors all doors all doors all doors financial doors marital doors career doors ministry doors are you praying all doors open all doors open all doors open declare ye that thou mightest be justified all doors higher levels of ministry all doors let it be unto you according to the word of the lord in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god who has sent us by the power that raised christ from the dead
my God will surprise you. My God will surprise you. Some of you, hear me, some of you literally by this time tomorrow, I stand by Apakatoske, help that gentleman, by this time tomorrow, may my God surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for direction. Some of you are confused. That is the reason why you are stagnated. When direction comes, speed comes too. In the name of Jesus, in your dreams, in your visions, may God give you clear directions. Clear directions for the next Apakosh Ketebeketa. Clear directions for the next season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shamaka so graskebeleke paruziata. Embrantes kales kavarasharaskia mahaskam baratuzietash. Krakata barakas kafrates kaliata. Embrakata barakata frasada balakata. Krakata prende gebereketos koto prende gebereketos. Lekata freskata berekesh. Embratas kaparas kopas kenemeketa. Lekata pras kebash. Lekos kemash kamarandas kebres keberiata. Ekrotos koto pede kete berekete katos kaprakata liata. Menta prakata barakata skapratekesh. Rakata prende kata freska lekos. Nekos koto pros kote shalekos. Ebres kaberes kotia. Shamaskadesh, Abrakata, Brakata, Parakata, Lakata, Brakata, Pakata, Prakato, Lakate, Shabaskata, Parakato, Prakata, Balata, Manta, Prakata, Parakas, Kaparika, Soda, Basiata, Akrakata, Parusiata. There are some of you, the reason why things are not going well is simply because you have not joined the right chariot. He told Philip, join this chariot. Hallelujah. And he joined that chariot and it became the salvation of the utopian Enoch. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every strategic relationship that must be introduced to your life for your rising, for your making, may my God bring strategic people to your life. <laughs> Ministry relationships business relationships destiny relationships covenant relationships receive it in the name of jesus hear me there are many of you the situation you are in now you cannot advocate your liberty it will take somebody who is already in the palace you are joseph you have the ability to interpret dreams potential to be a prime minister but you don't have a chance to defend yourself in front of pharaoh but there is a wine presser somewhere i don't know who is already where in a place where they can speak for you and they are not speaking for you because they have forgotten you i place you in their mind by the spirit of the living god i place you in their mind may god cause them to speak for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of fear the bible says god has not given us a spirit of fear but of love power and of a sound mind it says to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there are many of you you are not sick but the fear that is on you you get up in the morning will an accident happen you just feel something small in your body and the devil says death it is the voice of the enemy i want to silence it right now every voice that is planting fear in jesus name that voice is here by silence forever silence forever silence forever i prophesy over you you shall not die no untimely death in the name of jesus please hear me anybody that is plotting evil against you whether kidnap or accident or sickness in the name of Jesus, let the earth open and swallow them. Let the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
any charm any coven any satanic place in the name of Jesus that carries anything that belongs to you I declare that the power fails instantly let me pray for someone who is trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus may Ebenezer the helper of men surprise you in the name of Jesus every ministry here every business that is dead or dying everything in your hand that is dying you are holding something that is dying I give it life now let it come back to life now your business comes back to life your body comes back to life your ministry comes back to life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah whatever has taken the glory of the Lord upon your life for Samson it was Delilah that took that glory from him for Gideon something happened and he the least person the least in his father's house all those idolatry brought them to a place of subjugation whatever has taken the glory of God upon your life you used to be great you used to be anointed you used to be favored something happened and you just started drying up like a tree in the name of Jesus may the restorer restore you tonight I say it again may the restorer restore you tonight may the restorer restore you tonight hallelujah please hear me any door that was once open for good and whether by mistakes on your part by not understanding the laws that keep doors open or by some demonic thing that door closed whether doors of favor doors of relationship doors into the heart of great men i stand and call upon he that has the key of david the one that opened it and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it i speak to that door a fata be open be open be open the door to the hearts of kings be open the door to your destiny help us heart be open in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for your finances for as long as I live I will not only see to it that you are vibrant spiritually and growing in influence I believe in economic empowerment where God empowers the right hands once God has a heart that loves him and that you are able to use resources to better your life and to advance the cause of the kingdom there are no restraints to him making wealth available are we together by this prayer for some of you what you'll be receiving is wisdom by this prayer what some of you will be receiving is access to the right resources but then in the name of jesus i pray the bible says believe it says, and by a prophet, the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet, they were preserved. It says, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. God who has shown many help. God who has shown many mercy. Picking men from unbelievable pits and raising them to places of honor. I call upon that God to surprise you in your finances. <laughs> no more dryness in your finances personally corporately no more dryness hear me if there is any one of you here who is owing whether as a company whether as an individual i don't care owing is owing anybody who is owing in the name of jesus christ i place an unction upon you come out of that debt now Come out of that financial situation now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the next few minutes, I want to pray over your life. Many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation, you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits. You will stand and you will think it's a joke. You will say in the name of Jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return. And then you will see doors open over your family members. They will call you pastor and you say, I'm not a pastor. They say, that's, that's none of our business. Whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor. How about sickness? There are some of you who will carry these hands that you see God has given you. It's not just for eating. 
you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder growths satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that god gives gifts to men god can give gifts to men god can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life i heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be it by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then i pray for you father in the name of jesus i open up my heart and i open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time i want to be an effective battle axe i want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season. Dominion over unclean spirits. Bringing liberty to men. Ministering the spirit. Releasing families. Releasing captives. Dominion over sicknesses, diseases, infirmity, death. Dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ. Someone pray. Please look up. Is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits yes do you have to be a man of god to access that privilege in terms of ministry no in terms of knowing god yes can you have authority over sickness disease untimely death yes sir is there a grace that can enhance that reality yes sir can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you yes sir is there a grace that controls that possibility yes sir can men receive it yes can it be made manifest here and now yes sir I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive so open up your spirit as I pray for you father you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ that there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding and then to access the requisite grace I'm praying right now for a man of God here I'm praying right now for a businessman here i'm praying for a prophet an apostle an evangelist a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of christ i decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of jesus 
you will not have to bring them to Joshua Selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you in the name of Jesus Christ number two in the name of Jesus I first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body The sickness that would deteriorate your organs, may it never come near your destiny. And if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God, I command it to jump out of your life. With these anointed hands, may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that quickens your mind, then quickens your hand, then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life. In the name of Jesus, I place that grace on your head. I place that grace on your head. I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you, that is not giving you peace, you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met. This week, I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic. May my God raise strange help for you. May my God raise strange help for you. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Anyone here who may have lost in business, you've lost money, you've lost clients, you've lost opportunity. In the name of Jesus, I place a grace on you. Go back and excel. For the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom, go back and excel. And there are many of you here while you sleep in the night the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of Jesus Christ